Skyrim, uh, to begin alchemy, you're going to actually need uh, to visit an alchemy lab. It's not like the uh, Oblivion. Uh, and the first place that you're going to want to go to is Whiterun. It's close to uh, Riverwood, just north of it. Uh, I believe that's the first uh, alchemic well, lab that you can find. It's located in Arcadia's Cauldron, which on the local map is uh, right here from the entrance to the city. Uh, you'll need ingredients as well. Once inside, uh, the lab is right here. You open up the lab, and then you'll only see one uh, like name here called ingredients. You click on it, and it will list all the things that you have that can be attempted to be found. If you noticed all the ingredients that I have say unknown, 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 that means that uh, you haven't tested those out and successfully found anything that works with them. If you want to test out some ingredients, you're going to have to click on two or three. I suggest three. That way you can get three ingredients out of the way. And you click craft. If you come up with something, it will tell you what the thing that you came up with, in this case, is restore magic, and then the ingredients that uh, were used to make that. Uh, as soon as you're finished with that, on the left, you'll see uh, a quick um, restore magic button. Uh, for future use of making potions, you can click on that, and it will list all the ingredients that make uh, that potion. You only need two, so um, to make that, you can click on those two and then uh, do uh, create. Let's go back to the ingredients. If you notice, uh, 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 now that I click on Mora Tapellini or Mora, Mora Tapinella, Purple Mountain Flower is grayed out. That means that this ingredient did not work with Mora Tapinella uh, to make anything. So it being grayed out says that this doesn't work with that particular ingredient to make a potion. Over on the right here, it shows the, uh, the different uh, uh, potions that you can make. Uh, the ones that are known are ones that you haven't discovered yet, and obviously Restore Magic uh, is the one that we just figured out. So that's sort of the basic on how to do potions. Next, I've uh, compiled all the ingredients, or at least most of all the ingredients you'll find in Skyrim. Uh, and I've uh, done them um, one after the other, and fairly fast. So if there's a particular ingredient that you like, uh, feel free to stop the video um, for the details on it. For those who would like to make money uh, while they're doing alchemy, some of the potion um, effects that you can make that uh, sell for a decent amount of money would be Fortify Carry Weight, Invisibility, Paralysis, Regenerate Magic, Regenerate Stamina, and Slow. So uh, keep those in mind if you plan on making money on alchemy. I would suggest sometime or another to purchase a house and to get an alchemy lab, as uh, right at the um, uh, alchemy lab is an apothecary satchel, I think that's what they call them, and you could store all your ingredients there. For the most part, the ingredients will be pretty much useless on your character um, for sake of making potions, because you can't make potions unless you're at a uh, alchemic lab. So you can store them all right at the lab, uh, if you have your own player-based uh, house, and uh, it will make things a lot easier than having to rely on a shop's alchemic lab because you won't be able to go there during uh, non-store hours at nighttime. Some tips on gathering alchemy ingredients is, uh, for one, uh, to visit all the different alchemy um, shops uh, in the various cities. There's one in almost every city uh, along the map, the major cities and um, to clear out the stock of the cheap ingredients or the ones that you want. Another way to do it is to wait two days at an alchemist that you've already bought up some ingredients at, and it will reset their inventory. If you have a fast computer, you might opt to do the uh, third option, which is to simply uh, get the ingredients you want, save your game, and then exit out to either to Steam completely from the out of the main menu, and onto Steam, or just uh, X out of the game and then restart. And that will reset the inventory of the alchemist. If you want to raise your alchemy skill faster, try to find ingredients that uh, create more potion effects. And also uh, look for the value of the potion. The, it seems to be that the higher the value of the potion is, uh, the greater the um, amount of rays you will get in your alchemy skill, at least from my experience.
One good potion that will both get you money and raise your skill fairly fast is a giant toes and wheat. Try it out. In this section, I list the potion recipes. My cursor is uh, highlighting the particular potion effect that uh, I'm on at the time. And just to the right of it, the black type of uh, tab. Um, it's not really a tab, but it's just the, I'm not sure what you call that. On the right side is the ingredients that are used in the particular uh, potion effect. One way to make money as well as uh, learn more potion effects faster is uh, if you already have a, a couple potion effects on the left, like uh, shown, I have many, I have all of them listed on the left actually, uh, then click within any given effect and pick two uh, ingredients like you need to. You need two f to make the potion. And then choose another potion effect and then start experimenting and clicking on one of the ingredients. And it will show you if the um, it makes another effect by increasing the price of the potion down in the bottom right hand corner of the screen here. Uh, just keep on doing that until you find some ingredients that work well together and uh, make a uh, good value. That will also raise your um, level quicker too, uh, as potions that are more expensive raise your level faster. If you're really serious about doing alchemy, and, but you don't want to waste too much time in town reloading or doing things like that to get ingredients, then I would suggest to know which time you've been in town last and then to go out and fight and then uh, when it's been about two days then come back and buy some ingredients and go out back out and fight. That way you, you haven't wasted much time and you, you're out doing the things that you want to do. Because not everyone wants to be an alchemist hardcore. If you're a serious alchemist, uh, make sure to take note of areas that have a lot of a particular ingredient so in case you need that you'll know where to find it. This section covers uh, potion effects. Uh, one thing to note, uh, not all the ingredients offer the same uh, potion effect. So uh, some um, ingredients will actually uh, make a stronger potency of a potion. So it's important to, uh, once you've gotten many of the ingredients on the left side, to click between the various ingredients to find out which one gives the best effect. Unlike this game's predecessors, uh, in Skyrim, all potions weigh 0.5 pounds, no matter what ingredients you use. If you haven't already noticed, uh, while you're making potions, it will actually list the value of a potion. If you play around with the ingredients, some will actually have more than one element, uh, more than one potion effect, and will therefore cost more money. Uh, try to experiment around with potions to see which ones will make you a lot of money if uh, that is your purpose in making potions. Gathering ingredients in this game is a little bit different than its predecessors. Uh, in this game you need to not only be uh, harvesting them from plants, but uh, you also can get ingredients from catching things like dragonflies and um, and uh, moths and things, uh, but you can also get them from like chicken nests and things like that, or uh, you might be required to fight creatures like um, deer and elk to uh, get ingredients, or even uh, like bears and stuff. So there's a lot more to uh, finding ingredients now in Skyrim as opposed to Oblivion. If you plan on making money, uh, making potions, make sure that uh, when you go to the alchemist to buy ingredients that you always buy the cheaper ingredient. Don't get anything that's more than about 20 uh, gold each, especially if your alchemy is low level.